Hello everyone, Creative Venus here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial and today we will design this illustration based infographic design and it has got three steps so I hope you would really like it so let's begin with the tutorial so the first step is to create a custom shape so we will create this first shape and then we will replicate it by you know two times so total three so this is a three steps infographic so this is how you have to start just open this shapes panel and insert this rounded rectangle and then insert this one more right rounded rectangle then rotate it by 45 degrees and place it here now select both these shapes and go to merge shapes option and click on union so the custom shape is done second is build the outline of the shape so here what we have to do is we need to remove its fill and let's only keep the outline when i say outline i mean to say use a solid line then let's edit the points and then delete this one of one of the corner point and delete this second point as well now the next step is to create a line art now select this shape increase the width and then change the cap type and the joint type to round now open this shapes panel and insert a line and then increase the width so it should match with the width of the shape and place it like as you can see on the screen duplicate this line and place the second line here decrease its width again duplicate it and you can always zoom into the slide and just place it like this select both the shapes make sure the cap type and the joint type is round and apply the same formatting to all these line shapes now again go to shapes and insert a circle and let's create this tiny circle remove its outline and keep its height and width minimal and it should match with the height of this line it should look like a dot select both these shapes the line and the dot and align to middle so this is one of the illustration that we have created now you can group these together and we will replicate it like a couple of times and we will place it around this shape now the next step is to create a line art and we have you know spread it around this main shape now insert this circle remove its fill and increase the width of the outline and make sure the height and width is same And you can place it here so every placement is random and you can align or place these small illustrations as per your own style you don't have to follow my style I'm just putting all these components around this main shape now insert this hollow circle and place it like this and let's fill some nice colors first we need the background because the base shape is ready so here is the color palette now we need to fill the outline select the outline and fill the second color so still there are few 
small illustrations where we have used the fill and for that we need to add the fill as well and for the fill especially for this hollow circle we can use this gradient effect and we can use this two stops gradient with the linear gradient type and this creates a very beautiful color flow as you can see here and it matches with the overall theme so we can apply the same gradient to all these circular shapes also we can apply this gradient effect or the solid color on these tiny circles remove the outlines and fill this color now let's enhance this illustration this graphic you can duplicate this circle and let's place the copy on the left side as well to balance out this shape currently the right side looks heavy so let's insert this bigger circle as well remove its outline and let's fill the gradient here as well so we will use the same gradient format but this time let's use the transparency effect and send it to back now we can add the icon the illustration is almost ready so here we can use the inbuilt icon function of the powerpoint or you can download it from various online sources free or paid totally your choice so if you are new to our channel and you, if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to our channel hit this red subscribe button and also you can like this video so change the color of this icon and now you can add some content here as well like a heading or subheading or just some number totally up to you so I have created this as a three steps uh, infographic illustration but you can create like two or even one or even more than three if you will move with the decision to add four such illustrations then you have to you know adjust these on a single slide by adjusting the overall size so this is uh, apt for three infographic illustrations and this is how you can add the text simply insert the text box change color change font change size adjust the placement and you should know like how much text is too much make sure text is very simple very limited small text up to two lines or even one and you can do some final finishing here so it is very important to experiment then only you will learn like how is the output so for example you can try even rounded rectangles and squares as well instead of circles just try and see how it looks
now group all these shapes together let's do one last thing that is the shadow effect so apply this gradient fill remove the outline and use the path type gradient two stops gradient and fill this color and use the path gradient type and fill the same color on both the gradient stops and on the outer gradient stop or the second gradient stop increase the transparency to 100% and this is the effect you will get So you can adjust the size and look at this. This looks really beautiful. And so this is the like the last step. Just place it here, duplicate and create copies. So as I have said earlier, like I'll create this as a three steps infographic illustration. So if you are still watching this video, please subscribe, like this video, download this beautiful template from the cheat drive link provided in the video description. Do watch our other videos as well and share as well. So make sure everything is well aligned. So here is the final design. Look at this, look at this beauty and of course you can change the color theme, style if you are following some specific template with some specific guidelines and then you can even draw it with like a plain white background as well then you have to color the lines and the fills so this is totally customizable so I hope you got my point so we will see you guys in our next video with something more amazing till then bye bye enjoy